the pedal cluster is broken, so there's too much movement on the clutch cable. Usually what I would do is take the pedal cluster out. It's held on by three nuts. One, two, there's one up top. There's a second, uh, another nut up here, and one down here is for the support bracket. Then I remove the whole pedal cluster and I re-weld it. Um, this customer doesn't want the extra labor for removing the pedal cluster. So I'm just gonna unhook the cable from up here. Cable is unhooked now, and I can take off the broken metal piece. This is what's supposed to be part of the pedal cluster. So in this case, it snapped off here. Uh, the pedal clusters also have a problem of breaking in other places, and that causes um, excessive movement. A telltale sign is. I think the battery just ran out on me um, while I was talking. I was just basically just saying that um, a telltale sign of a broken pedal cluster, not necessarily just this piece, like I said, break the cluster can break in, in a number of places. A telltale sign of an issue with that pedal cluster is that if you push on the clutch pedal and the brake pedal moves excessively left and right or up and down, um, then that indicates or is usually a sign that there's a crack in the pedal assembly someplace or obviously you'll hear creaking sounds as the metal pieces uh, rub along where it cracked um, so anyways this is the piece that we're going to weld a uh, washer to and then insert it from the outside and that'll apply pressure against the chassis when the pedal is pushed uh, and that's a temporary fix or workaround for pulling the cluster out the pedal cluster For more room, remove the bottle. So I'm going to in, be inserting it uh, from out here and it sits in the car like this. I'm not going to be able to insert it from the inside and then weld it. So I'm going to have to shave all of this off. to remove all of this so 
so it fits through the uh, hole in the firewall. I made that a bit smaller. Let's see if that'll fit in here. Not yet. Hopefully you can still see. Sometimes I don't loop the cables, uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I just use WD-40, sometimes I use the silicone grease. You can argue that any type of lubricant will attract dirt and cause the dirt to stick. On the other hand, no lubricant argument being that it's going to chafe earlier or wear earlier. You're gonna have a new grommet for the clutch you can see here. It's wearing in, it's cutting into the housing. This was all that was left. And just poke it in, pull it through. Should have looped out first.
hook it in hook it in at the pedal first okay, it's easier with two people you get one person to hold the lever up but as you can see it can be done so one person put the spacer plate in first this guy only goes one way, it'll make sense when you look at it. It's the hump usually goes up. And I like to put the put the clip in this way so that it can't slide out because the lever here is in the way. Let me just let go of the cable. Once it's sitting correctly. And adjust it. So right now it's very little play, which is okay for now. Step on the pedal a few times, it'll self-center everything. feels pretty good. That's normal movement of the brake pedal. No cracks anywhere that I can see. And you can see there's more play now. We just lower it a bit more. Try it again. Still too tight now. So back it in. And just lightly lock it into place. It's better to have more play than not enough. As the clutch wears, the lever pushes down and then the play goes away. So when you when you grab the cable and there's no play, it's time to adjust it. As you adjust it, the threads will become smaller and smaller or less showing. So right now, this tells me there should be lots of clutch left. By the time this nut gets down to about here, uh, you're going to be getting a slipping clutch soon or once you basically out of end of adjust at the end of adjustment you'll start feeling the clutch slip. As always not paying attention. I can't put the bottle back because the cable's in the way. So I'm just gonna sneak the bottle underneath. That should work. This ground strap was rubbing down here. It should actually be running this way and connected to here. So I just figured I'd zip strap it to there. Good enough.